I'm James Conrad with Team MVP. Today I'm going to give you guys an in the bag as the 2022 season is kind of winding down. The first part of my bag that I'll go through today is the putters. Putters are obviously a big part of my game, so I keep a pretty good stack of them in the bag. Four of my eight putters I like to bag are Nomads. The Nomad's a super special disc to me. It's the first one that I was able to work with MVP to, to design, and yeah, it's my go-to putting putter. This black on black has been my, my number one slot, if you will, this year. It's, it's my go-to putter for circle one and, and anything, I'd say inside about 45 feet. I'd say I switch out my number one putter somewhat often, like this, this gray one was before this black one, and then the blue one was before that, so I like it to be somewhat new as being my go-to circle one putter, but I also love to keep the old ones in the bag because as they get a little more beat up, I just tend to get a little bit more glide out of them, a little less stability. So for example, this kind of teal one, one of the prototypes, this is my go-to for like long circle two putts or hard ante putts. With it being a little more beat up, it just likes to glide a little bit more. It likes to hold that turn a little bit more. So just having a variety of putters in my bag is something that, that I really enjoy, you know? I know each one pretty well, and so if a unique putt calls for a certain shape, then I can maybe say, not this one today, but this is the one I need. And having that confidence really helps me run some of those tricky putts. The other putters in my bag are mostly Envies. I, I keep three Envies, and then I keep one Entropy. And between these four, those are some serious workhorses for me on the course. I'm, I'm throwing Envy off the tee on almost every par three that's you know, less than 350 feet, it feels. Um, this blue and yellow commemorative Envy, this one is electron firm plastic, so it, it takes a beating a little bit, but just I love it more and more the more beat up it gets. Pretty much any shot that's needing to finish right for me in that shorter range, that 300 feet range, this is going to be my go-to. I'm able to hit it hard, and depending on how much hyzer I put, will kind of I can kind of tailor tailor the flight whether I want it to pop up and finish straight or kind of start flat and drift right. I can do it all with this one. And this pink Cosmic Neutron Envy, this thing started out super overstable, but it's been one of my go-tos for I'd say over a year now. So it's gotten to it's gotten beat into the point that it's just super straight and super dependable. Yeah, I can hit it as hard as I want, and it, it'll never roll over on me, but it can. It can fly super dead straight, or it can throw nice, slow hyzers, and yeah, I throw this one. This pro probably is my most thrown, thrown throwing putter. Then the Sweet Watermelon Envy is, is a bit fresher than this pink one, and probably, probably about how this one started out, so definitely more overstable. It can actually throw little flex lines with it. I can do big stall hyzers with it. I can um, throw it in a little bit more wind than most of my other Envies. Then rounding out my putter lineup is an Entropy. This is a plasma Entropy and super overstable. More of a utility disc than one of my regular throwers, but yeah, I'm able to do some really cool flex lines with it, some really cool stall shots, maybe even a kind of a short range skip shot. But yeah, between these four throwing putters, I feel super confident that I can attack anything in that short range. Moving on to the mid ranges, my bag feels kind of light on mid ranges these days. I'm back in one hex. I'll sometimes work in some reactors depending on the course, but this hex is something I've really started to enjoy. And with how much I throw the envies, it doesn't leave a ton of room for mids in my bag, but the hex I'm able to able to get some really good distance out of. I can push it probably close to 400 feet on a, on a flat shot and super workable. Like it, it wants to go pretty straight for me. If I hit it really hard, it might get a little bit of a late flip up and drift right, but I also really enjoy it for a, a significant hyzer release. I'm able to hit it with quite a bit of hyzer and it'll, it won't flip and, and finish right, but it'll just kind of slowly work left. So definitely a great disc in my bag and something that I've been trying to lean on a little more, but the fact that I only bag one mid and that's this definitely speaks wonders for the hex. Moving on to the fairway drivers in my bag. I've definitely been doing a ton of work with the fairways this year, a lot of which has been with the Terra. Uh, I've got two in the bag. This Holy Stamp Terra is one that I was able to release with Bevel Beer earlier this year, so that's not only a fun stamp, but um, also just a, a sweet reminder of, of last year. And this thing's gotten a bit beat in. It's gotten super straight and such a workhorse in the wind. We play a lot of a lot of windy courses. I swear this thing flies the same in, 
and no wind and 20 mile an hour wind for me. So it's just super dependable and something I can really count on when, when I need to we needed to throw a precise shot in variable conditions. This one's a little fresher. This one's the one I, I lean on most though. And then I actually, for a long time, was bagging a white Volt, one of the Bendy James Volts, some of y'all may remember, but that one, that one got away from me not too long ago. So I've been, been working this pink one in. It's definitely not as beat up as that white one was, so still finding, finding out if there's room in my bag for the Terra and this fresh Volt, but I still love this stamp, so it's nice to keep one in the bag. One step up from the Terra or the Volt would be the Fireball. And this is a pretty sweet one that my buddy Alex Russell actually gave me. It's a 2018 MVP Open Special Edition stamp. That's pretty special to me because that's the year that I, I won out here at Maple Hill. And yeah, Fireball's just, just a workhorse. It's great in wind, it's great for flex shots, it's great for spike hyzers. Um, great for skip shots. Definitely a big utility disc for me and something that I usually pull out of the bag at least once or twice around. Then moving to the slightly less stable fairway drivers in my bag. I've been doing a lot of work with the relay this year on some of the wooded courses we've been playing. Um, at six speed it's it's not too too far off from like a mid-range type disc and yeah that, that smaller rim just feels super comfortable in my hand i'm able to really hit it with quite a bit of hyzer and really trust this disc to stand up maybe work right I'm not getting a ton of distance out of it but i'm really confident hitting those like late flipping shots and without throwing many forehands it's sometimes necessary to have something that will kind of work to flat and then finish to the right for me and definitely expect to throw the relay some out here at Maple Hill, maybe maybe hole seven it speaks to me for that one. The Insanity is a nice compliment to me for the relay. It's a bit faster, but I get a pretty similar flight out of it. I'd say I rely on the relay a little more, just a little more comfortable with the slower speed, but if I need a little more distance, then I'll reach for this Insanity. I've also sometimes will, will use the Insanity as a roller disc. I can hit it on just a little bit of angle, and trust it to get down to that nice cut angle and can get me some pretty sweet roller lines out of it. Then the last fairway type driver in my bag is a Virus. This one's almost exclusively a roller disc for me. I love the special edition stamp. It's got like computer screens on it and like a computer virus type thing. But yeah, this thing is a workhorse for me with the rollers. I can almost hit it dead flat and just trust it to get over to a cut angle. And it's not like a long distance roller, but just to get that shape where you get it down pretty quick and trust it to get up and finish to the right. I've had a lot of fun throwing rollers this year and a lot of them have been with the virus. And rounding out my bag is the distance drivers. I have a pretty good stack of, of them in the bag these days. It seems like all the courses we play on tour are pretty pretty dang long. Um, they're, they're wanting us to throw 500 foot shots on the regular, so definitely relying on the distance drivers quite a bit. The newest ones in my bag are the Zenith. The Zenith is, is sweet. It's an 11 speed driver that's super workable. I'm able to get flex lines out of it. I'm able to pop it up kind of to flat and I'm getting great distance out of it. It's been, it's been a, slight, a slight bit of a transition period with how much I was throwing the photons. I still have a few of those in the bag. And so I'm still figuring out the exact, the exact time of when I want to lean on the photon and when I'm going to lean on the Zenith. But having both options in the bag has been great. Yeah, these two prototype Zeniths are super pretty and been leaning on them more and more each week. And as I was saying, the photons have been a staple in my bag. And so I have a nice variety that I haven't worked out yet or that I'm not sure if I completely will, but I have four right now and they're kind of from most beat up to least beat up. So this white one is kind of a utility one. If I need something like a really long distance roller, I might lean on this or a um, super big sky ante. Like I'm thinking back to the Green Mountain Championship last week, there's hole eight at Fox Run. It's like a, just a huge high ante that, that can't really come out of it. And that's what I was throwing this one on. Then I, I've had a lot of these yellow ones over the last couple of years, yellow, green kind of. And for whatever reason, these ones always just were, were some of the, the farthest flying ones for me. Um, might just be a little mental thing though. When you f have one yellow one like that and you love it, you kind of keep looking for more of them. So these are two of my, my workhorses. And this blue one's kind of just been a, a backup. It's nice to have multiples of a, of a disc so that in a practice round you can, 
you know, throw, throw the one that you're going to throw and then have a couple more just to kind of lock that shot in. And now rounding out, my distance driver is a panic. This is kind of a utility distance driver for me. Extremely overstable, good if the winds get extremely high or if I need to throw a really high spike hyzer, anything like that. It's nice to have a, something you can count on to be super fast and super overstable like the panic. I'm James Conrad with Team MVP and thanks for checking out my bag today.